Yes, sir. 20 blocked shots tonight. You almost equaled the amount of shots you gave up. How impressive was the defense of that first, especially just five defenses? Actually, we went down to four uh, going into the third period yeah. because we lost. Yeah, we lost uh, Joseph Lordo. So I, I give the D a lot of credit. I give Scoffer credit. He had 23 shots, but he had to come up with some big ones, obviously a breakaway, and he looked pretty sharp all night. I didn't know that that we had 20 blocks. Um, so, I mean, happy with it, that's for sure. Yeah, it's a it's fitting that he did get one. He he worked really hard to get open and missed a. A chance right on the doorstep in the first, uh, so it was very fitting that that he got the power play goal. He does a great job in front. He's a big body. He takes that job pretty seriously. So I think it was fitting. He does a lot of things. If if we've been working at, you know, stick on puck with our forwards as well as our D, and he's probably our best. Him with David Glenn are probably our best forwards at it. Bailey's very good as well. But I think it was fitting that he got one. So it was good to see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't like it. Certainly not what we wanted to see, but I really like, I think the guys handle themselves pretty well when there was a shot well after the whistle, so uh, we're not going to, you know, we don't want it that way, but certainly if it's, if it's going to go that direction, we're going to stand up for ourselves. Uh, well, he's not as forgotten as far as the team's concerned. He actually got the, the hard hat tonight um, for, you know, one of the blocks I did see was him actually diving head first for a puck. So he's he's a guy, like, he's a hockey player's hockey player. I mean, anybody that plays the game and knows how hard it is to do the things that you just talked about uh, know how good he is. He does, he's, from day one, he's always done the little things, uh, the little things well. Uh, David Glenn uh, tonight, got our first hat, the program's first hat trick in history. When we had our first win in history, uh, David Glenn scored the overtime winning goal plus another really nice goal and, and Kenny Brooks got the hard hat that time too. So, so maybe, in the, maybe in the box scores he might look a little uh, forgotten, but trust me, the team absolutely doesn't forget him. He, he makes you win. He's a winner. The kid is just, he's been that way from day one. We scored first. That's good, isn't it? It's been a first for a while. Um, uh, yeah, it was a little slow. We came. We didn't. I think we were ten eight in shots ahead. We didn't have our our best period, but we didn't, we weren't down to nothing, so we were happy. So let's keep it positive, huh? No, this isn't the easiest um, ring to ref in. Uh, the boards are shorter at the ends and the sides. And a lot of pucks are getting out. And when they are coming around, they're coming up quick because they're not, they're not, they're not up high. So the ones that you do see, they're, they're, they're flying. And, um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I do look forward to Pagula. Uh, that's one of the reasons I really like that there's a lot of flow. Um, and I could see the referees getting a little... Um, and see with the amount of whistles as well. So they, they're the same as players and fans that they like flow in games. So um, I think they did a good job. It's, it's not the easiest. I mean, hockey's fastest team sport. It's really hard. I think they did a good job. But um, certainly, I think everybody's going to benefit when we go to Pagula. Yeah, two things. One is what you mentioned. We 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 really had to do a better job in front of the net, letting Scoffer see it, and then not give up second chances. But also, um, we only gave up four shots. So we did block some, but I thought we did a really good job of getting in in lanes and not letting them shoot. So we did as good a job, even though we weren't necessarily credited with the block. I thought if you watched Gardner did it a number of times, uh, Kenny Brooks did it a number of times, where they didn't necessarily get credit for a block, but because they were so quick to get in the shooting lane, they didn't let them shoot in, and we, we only gave up, I think, four shots on four power plays, I believe, so that's not bad. Man, he's a fun guy to watch, isn't he? Like, he just, he, he figures out, you know, 
there's some guys that score typical goals, and he I don't I don't know what you would say a typical David Glenn goal is. He's he knocks pucks out of the air. He scores highlight reel goals. He he scores dirty goals. He he shots tip everything. He just he's a, he is a he's a hockey player. He's um, I think everybody likes it when players like him get hat tricks because he's not just a perimeter shooter. He's dirty. He plays as hard defensively as he does offensively. He wins faceoffs. He he leads your team in hits. Uh, I believe he's first or second. He's definitely no worse than second in blocks. I mean, he does so many little things that. Uh, I mean, he's a fun. You, you, the thing about it, you get. He's a guy that makes guys on the bench chuckle, with a lot of the things that he does. Tonight it was, you know, he he pickpocketed a guy from behind with the toe of his stick. He's had many plays where he's, you know, bounced this bounced the puck on his blade as he was going down the ice. He just he's a hockey player. He's fun to watch. I don't know how they got it, but but we do chart that uh, as a team. I don't think you see it in the box stores, but we, we certainly do. And the two guys that you mentioned are far and away the leaders in that category. And so how did they get to be that way? They started out really hot, so it's nothing. I, I wish I could tell you that, that we taught them that, but they were they were great from day one. So I don't know if it's something that is just natural or something that they had great coaching along the way, but uh, those two guys, Glenn and Brooks, have been the leader in battles all year long. Well, when we have 4D, uh, he's a guy that we really look for because he is he is our best conditioned athlete. And he's not only our strongest athlete, he's our best conditioned athlete. So uh, he takes that extremely seriously, along with nutrition and uh, and stretching. He, he's a very committed athlete. And so when you go down to four, I mean, he's someone that you automatically depend on because he's a guy that can handle it. He's He has as much wind in the third as he does the first. and and can handle physical play and can handle a quick game. So, um, you know, I, I give all those guys credit today. You know, they started out with five, which is tough, and went down to four. Uh, Kenny helped out a little bit on the back, but for the, basically the third period, they had, and, and when Yanis was in box for four minutes, I mean, they're, they, uh, I thought they did a great job. I thought they did a great job. Thanks. Thank you.